Hey guys, this is Greg with Fish Clee, and I am making a hot and tot shadow box for my vintage hot and tots that I collect. So, the stuff that I use to accomplish this, I'm gonna go through the materials that I use first. I use some of this galvanized steel wire. I think I got this at, I might even got this at Walmart. Um, but I'm sure Michaels or Hobby Lobby has something like this. Um, so I'll show you what I use that for. So what I do is I cut them down to about four and a quarter inch pieces. Got my tape measure here. And then I have some curved needle nose pliers. And what I do is I put it flush with the tip of the pliers. I make a fold. So it's 90 degrees. And you'll see why I do that. And I grab right behind where I just bent the flat part of the pliers. And I put another 90 degree bent. So we're looking with something like that. And then I go back to my tape measure. And I've been measuring these down for the normal size hot and tots. Uh, two and three quarter inches has been working perfect. So what I do with this horizontal flat, I'll grab my two and three quarter inches mark and I'll bank another 90 degree bend up. And then it'll look something like that. And then my last bend, I basically been going about a half inch in and I make a, another bend like that. So we got these hook looking things. All right. So next thing you will need, you can get these at Hobby Lobby. I got them a pack of 20 for, I think it was like $2, are these alligator clips. And I'm gonna show you what we do. So we take our alligator clip um, and on these ones, specifically from Hobby Lobby, I have a little hole in them. And so what I do is I put that little hook that we made, our first bend, right through there. And then I just hold it up on there, take my pliers, I fold these over. Doesn't have to be, you know, crazy tight, and I'll show you why it doesn't have to be crazy tight. But I just like to, you know, it to be on there. So, at this point, we're about 99% of the way done. Clip our hot and hot on there, and I will show you what it looks like. So now we got our little hot and hot stand, and so what I've been doing is just cutting uh, some black gorilla tape. And basically, I just ripped these right in half. I got little squares on them. Stick it right in there. And it works pretty good. So I just realized that I filmed it in portrait on that last part, so I'm gonna refilm it here. But So we got our stands, and uh, we got our little pieces of black Gorilla tape that, you know, I got put it in there. This case is from Michaels. It's actually meant for shot glasses and it works perfect for these fishing lures. And uh, it even fits the larger jumbo hot and tot size. Um, so yeah, if you guys wanna show off any of your favorite lures or crankbaits, you know, this might be a, uh, a good idea for you guys to hang in your man cave. But I think you got $40 worth of material and you know, it's just a little bit of your time and it turns out pretty good, so. All right, so uh, this is our finished product. Got all the hot tots in there. We even got some vintage Magnum tots. Those are even larger than the Jumbos. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you on the next one.